Screen Park Unlimited. <laughs> in the village of Nettlestone, a ghostly woman in white is a well known traffic hazard. Many motorists have rounded a corner by the village church only to find this apparition standing silently in the road. Ted Jones was on his way home one night with lads from his local dance team when they literally ran into her. We were in an old Buick, and as we rounded the bend by the church, there she was. Well, we all saw her, but Ken Scriven, who was at the wheel, couldn't stop in time, and we went right through her. They searched the road, but could find nobody, so they drove into wide to report the accident to the police. As the shaken young men stammered out their story, Police Constable Harry Coffin laughed. We get quite a few reports of people knocking her down. One along home, lad, you've just won over the white lady of Nettlestone. He told them another road ghost has been seen at Vittlefield's crossover. In a crossroads on the forest road near Newport, where motorists have swerved to avoid a young motorcyclist who suddenly appeared in their path. The shock drivers were convinced the young man had been thrown from his machine and was lying badly injured or dead at the side of the road. They were white. He had been killed many years earlier during the last war. Well, as a young dispatch rider, he collided with an army tank at that very spot. The next ghost story is called Ghost Train in the Air. No train has won from Newport for almost half a century. So when Kay Liggins of Freshwater caught a glimpse of an old locomotive with three carriages steaming silently along, it had to be a ghost train. She was seeing Kay and her husband were walking down Hollywood Street one lunchtime when she looked up and saw the apparition. I just stood the open mouth. I asked Roger when the last steam train ran in Newport. Not since the 1960s, he replied. It was then I, realized, then I knew for certain I had just seen the ghost train. It was only there for a few brief seconds and seemed to be crossing the brick viaduct near the Cow Newport to Cowles Road. I heard nothing. The train was completely silent and it was just as though it was in midair. I saw the little old steam locomotives and two or three carriages, but it was all so quick that I didn't take in any more detail. It is likely the train K saw was travelling along the delightful scenic decline of Newport Yarmouth Freshwater Railway, which opened in 1888, closing in 1953. Sadly, all traces of the little branch line have now vanished. In 1998, the Elbrick Viaduct arches near St Cross Mill and the Ramshackle Shed which served as the ticket office, was swept away. But that ghostly railway hasn't noticed, for it exists in a dark dimension of its own, where steam trains run still. That's all for that, them ghost stories, so it's time to say, cheer those credits. Goodbye. <laughs>